Hi! What we are going to measure in this video is the RPM signal of this fan. It's the yellow line on the fan. The fan is operated by 12 volts and has a has a um, 900 RPM uh, rotational speed. Okay, let's have a look how things are connected together. Channel 2 on this lab power supply is connected um, to the power input of the, of the fan. Channel 3 is a, is a 2 volt signal. Uh, as you can see all grounds are connected together and um, the ground is also connected to the ground of the oscilloscope. It's earth reference so all grounds are um, earth referenced. Let's have a look at channel 3. It's a 2 volt signal. It's arbitrarily chosen, um, so you could just as well uh, use 3 or 1 volt. And what it does is it pulls the RPM signal of the fan high to this voltage, to 2 volts, via this 10K resistor, as you can see here. So um, the orange uh, trace is uh, the orange wire is um, the RPM signal of the fan, and we pull it high to two volts. If it didn't do this, then we would only measure zero volts all the time because um, the fan never outputs any uh, voltage. It just pulls it low. It just can't pull it low. So we have to pull it high first so we get a square signal. If we um, didn't do this we'd have a flat line, a flat zero volt line uh, on the oscilloscope. Okay, we can test it. We can test it now uh, by um, turning everything on. Okay, fan is spinning. Yeah, and if we, s if we, we have a look at the readings here we can see that uh, we have an amplitude of about 1.9 volts and a frequency of 30 Hertz. Now, if we calculate things, 30 Hertz means 30 pulses per second. That again means, um, permit if we uh, calculate the RPM per minute, uh, the, the rotation per minute, uh, that means 30 times 60, that's 1800 RPM. Okay, if you remember in the beginning of this video, I said it's a 900 RPM fan. So why are we reading 1800 then? It's because um, the fan pulls the signal low twice per rotation. So we have to divide the reading by 2 and then it's correct. Then we have uh, the correct RPM count. So this is normal. This is normal that uh, you're reading 30 Hz here and not 15 because, as I said, 2 pulses per rotation. Uh, what else is there to say? What if we um, disconnected the fan, like the, if we disconnected the power supply of the fan, Let's do this here. What happens then? It's channel 2. The fan um, stops spinning. And what we see here is we read a flat 2 volts, as I said. Uh, it would be the same if we disconnected the orange uh, RPM signal of the fan. Uh, it's, uh, it will be the same output. Um, what, we, what we have here is we're pulling the signal high via the resistor to 2 volts and that's why we read 2 volts. It's never pulled low by the fan that's why we have no uh, AC signal here, it's just DC. Okay, if we um, turn it on again yeah, you see then we have the 30 Hz um, pulse again. Now What's next? 
next thing to do is to measure this uh, RPM signal not via an oscilloscope but via a Janik Ambience um, wireless uh, transmitter and then have um, the pulse count transmitted to an MQTT server. That will be the next part of the video. Thank you.